How can we combine voltage sources in electric circuits? When you have voltage sources in series, you can actually combine them together into a single equivalent voltage source. If the minus of one source is connected to the plus of another, like V1 and V2 in this example, then you would add them together. Think of the minus and plus as cancelling out, leaving only the plus at the very beginning of V1 and the minus at the very end of V2. So think of that new source, V1 plus V2, as the combination of the two sources. When the minus of one source is connected to the minus of another, like between V2 and V3, you subtract them. Same thing for plus to plus, of course. So in this example, VAB would be VS, this equivalent voltage source, and that would be V1 plus V2 minus V3. A very easy way to remember this is to think of Kirchhoff's voltage law, KVL. If we were to draw a loop in the clockwise direction, like this, then by KVL we would have negative VAB plus V1 plus V2 minus V3 equals zero. And then you can just take VAB to the other side of the equation, resulting in the same equivalence, V1 plus V2 minus V3. So that's a nice way to remember this. Now this is the case for voltage sources in series, but what if you have voltage sources in parallel, like this? We know that if elements are in parallel, then they should have the same voltage across them. So this connection is only possible if the two voltage sources are equal. That is, if V1 is exactly equal to V2. Otherwise, this connection would not be permissible. It would be an invalid connection. 